you please tell us your name and where you're from? Hello, I'm Anna Doroshuk, and I'm from Tri-Cities. And Anna, can you please tell us uh, your wonderful testimony before you gave your life to Christ? Um, well, before I gave my life to Christ, um, I was depressed. Um, I isolated myself. I didn't want to hang out with anyone. Um, and I had a really horrible relationship with my mom where um, I actually told her, like, you don't have 14 kids anymore. You have 13. And I kind of cut her out of my life. So, yeah. So you're saying that before you met Christ, you were pretty depressed. You isolated yourself and you just had a, a bad relationship with your mom. Correct. Uh-huh. And when you came, how did you come about Good News Church? How did you come about coming here? Um, my sweetie's brother's girlfriend. She's from Seattle. And whenever she comes down here, she wants to go to a church. And uh, she heard about this one. And she knew I kind of wanted to see, you know, the things around here. <laughs> and uh, so she invited me over here. And, yeah. And how was it for you the very first time that you came here? What was your experience like? What did you think of it? It was, it was really awesome. Like, one thing I really love, though, is all the other churches I went to, they kind of sugarcoat um, things just to kind of make it seem better. Like, you know, it's okay, God loves you. But here, I like how it's like they say God loves you, but, um, <laughs> you know, you got to do things to make sure you give the love back kind of thing. You know, they're straight to the point. That's awesome. That's awesome. And was it that day that you gave your life to Christ, or what brought you to make that commitment to receive salvation? It wasn't the first day, but it was the second time. Um, and actually, the crazy thing is, uh, my sweetie goes out of town for, like, um, not vacation, but for jobs. And... Um, <laughs> And um, so it was crazy because every time he would leave two jobs, you know, I'd always, like, pray, like, God, please touch his heart, you know. Like, do something in our relationship, you know, so we can get close to God. And the craziest thing is when he was gone, like, I came to this church and God actually touched my heart. And that's where everything started. Wow. Wow. Come on. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So you're saying that you were praying for your uh, sweetie, and instead you got changed, God touched you, and you gave your life to Christ. Yes, I did. That's awesome. That's awesome. And tell us, uh, after you gave your life to Christ, what, what's been different? I'm happier. I'm not depressed. And um, um, my mom and me, actually, well, I cut her out of my life two years ago, whereas I wouldn't, like, I would actually, after I cut her out two months after I didn't even come over to the house. Um, I was all by myself at home. Um, and then I started missing my siblings, you know. I have 13, so it's kind of different. Um, so, like, then I would come over, and I had no eye contact with my mom ever. Like, I didn't say I love you. We didn't, like, talk. Um, and every time I knew she was in the house, like, I had so much anger, and I was just, like, it was crazy. But um, now... Um, it's crazy. Like, I actually have her number in my phone, and, <laughs> and we talk, and um, I actually um, told her I love you, which is kind of crazy, um, and um, man, and she even took a picture of me and my sweetie, too, um, and just kept it on her phone, and I just can't wait till Mother's Day. Wow. wow. Come on. Wow. That's awesome. So you're saying that before you were really depressed, you isolated yourself, but we can all see that you're not really isolated. You're in front of everyone, right? So, and now your relationship with your mom is beginning to be restored. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's awesome. And can you tell us, um, with just this path that you've taken, what are you excited for the future? What's your vision? What's your next step? Um, bring my whole family to this church. I know it's going to be a lot, but I think there's some room. <laughs> um, and, um, and then keep growing that relationship with my mom and get it like 100. Um, and I don't know, I just want to bring more souls to God and kind of help other people that might have been in depression or, you know, cut their parents out of life, their life too. That's amazing. I think that's amazing. 
one more question. Okay. <laughs> and can you please tell us, um, those that maybe are sitting, they may be depressed or um, they're just going through something and they want to take that step um, into salvation, but they don't know, what would you advise them? Um, honestly, that was like the deepest, darkest um, time I've ever had in my life. I never even thought I would ever get into such a dark place. But now I'm happy for it because now I could like go out and help other people. But sometimes I think like when you're in that deepest, darkest time of your life, it's kind of God also telling you, hey, you think this is dark? Imagine how bright I can make your life. Come on, come on. And she's a live testimony of that, you guys, right? Come on, give her an hand.